What are you doing? Are you cleaning your room? Yeah. Good job. I, I cleaned the books on my bookshelf. Good. Grayson is somewhat messy at times and likes to put books all over his floor and on his bed. And I told him before he goes downstairs, he needs to clean up all the books. He's doing a good job. Porter was supposed to help him, but it looks like he got distracted. But Porter helped me. Mm-hmm. The boys are cleaning their room. I'm getting dressed. Let's see what Avery's doing. If I can sneak in. So as you can see, Avery is sleeping, or at least trying to fall asleep. I just put her down, so hopefully she falls asleep. I am trying to get dressed, but not really getting dressed that fast. I'm folding. I did laundry yesterday, and now I'm trying to fold it all. Look at this pile I have. Yeah, that's all the laundry I need to fold. I started, but I haven't gotten very far. And no, we are not people that make our beds in the morning. We just leave it. So yeah, my routine is I do laundry. Oh, I do like the kids' laundry on Wednesdays. I do um, Anthony and I's laundry on Fridays. And then I usually just pile it on a big pile at the foot of our bed. And then when I get time every throughout the day, then I put them in piles and then put them away. So that's kind of my routine, I guess, with the laundry. So I'm trying to get that done. I am pulling out the camera because it is Memorial Day weekend. Today's Saturday. Anthony has um, Monday off, so it's a three-day weekend for him. And today, Avery and I are going to be flying in my dad's airplane. My dad is a pilot. Well, he has like his pilot's license. He's not like a airline pilot but he's his pilot's license and he has his own private plane so we are going to be going with my mom my dad my sister and my brother and we are going to go fly to toledo because two of my cousins graduated high school this year and they're having a joint graduation party my one cousin is coming from denver colorado he graduated he's going to some college in Colorado. And then my cousin Katie, who lives in Toledo, she's going to college at um, University of Georgia. So we are going to go and see extended family. A lot of them have not met Avery before. And so it, we thought it'd be fun to go and see them. And my sister's pregnant. They haven't really seen her since she like announced her pregnancy. So it's just be fun to catch up with everyone. We are going to see everyone again this summer. My whole extended family is doing this huge trip on a cruise ship. We're going at the end of July, beginning of August for a whole week on a cruise to like Mexico and Honduras. And it's going to be wild. So we are going to see them all again, but <clears throat> we're going to go to this graduation party. So I'll pull out the camera a little bit. I'm leaving the boys behind with Anthony. There wasn't enough room in the airplane and I don't really think they would care too much for the party. They would just destroy it. So they're going to stay here with Anthony and I'm just, it's just a girl's trip, I guess. It'll be fun. It will be Avery's first time in an airplane. She's never been in an airplane before. I mean, she's like almost two months old, so she's very new still. So we'll see what she thinks of it. When Porter was only a couple weeks old, we took him in my dad's airplane and he loved it. He just slept the whole time, didn't cry at all, loved it. And he was a fussy baby. So I'm hoping that Avery will be like Porter and just love the airplane. I think it's like the loud noise of the airplane kind of like is acts like a sound machine and they just like it. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's kind of our plan for today. We don't really have plans for tomorrow. We might just go to the park. And then on Monday, on Memorial Day, we are going to visit our friends that live about 20 minutes away from us. I guess they got new like water blow up toys. They have a kid that's in between Grayson and Porter and then another kid that's in between Porter and Avery. So we hang out with them every so often. So I think we're going to go hang out with them. So I might just do like a whole Memorial Day weekend vlog. Depends how much footage I get. But I'm going to get back to folding my laundry. 
and trying to get everything done before Avery wakes up. I need to pick out an outfit because I'm not going to wear pajamas. I think I'm going to wear a dress. I just need to make sure I pick a dress where I can easily whip my boobs out so I can feed Avery. Update real quick on Avery with the bottle. We got two more bottles to try with her. If you're new, I have an almost two-month-old baby. She bottle. loves the boob. She does not like any bottle. We've tried so two many. So the new bottle. ones that we tried was Lanisso or Lashino and these weird ones, which I don't remember the name of them. I'll have to look it up downstairs. Two and she doesn't like either of those. Bottles, so we're still... Two more bottles. Yes, honey. So we're still losing in the bottle department. So I don't know. We're just... Have to keep trying with her, I guess. But anyway, I will pick up the camera probably when we're in the airplane. Made it to the park and it's dead. No one's here on a Sunday afternoon, which is crazy because last time we came, when Avery was like a week old, it was packed with kids and now it's dead. Must be because it's Memorial Day weekend, people are busy. I think I'm gonna have to feed Avery, but she's just been sleeping this whole time. Hey guys, how are you? I am here in Porter's room. I'm actually, I had to go down in our crawl space and get the 3T bin out because he is so tall, you guys. He's not fitting in his 2T jammies. Now, I've said this before with Grayson. I swear they make jammies way smaller than regular clothes. And I don't know why they do that, but I've always had to do a size up for my boys at least. Um, in jammies and Porter's already like almost as tall as Grayson so I knew I was gonna have a hard time with him and I've been trying to limp along like doing two tea jammies on him but they like the tops come up as like crop tops on him and the pants are like capris and it's just not fair to him so I'm switching out jammies only I'm gonna keep doing the two t-shirts and shorts I think those are fine for now uh, we'll see if we make it all summer it is still Memorial Day weekend, so we went to the grab party, Avery and I did, and it was super fun. It was nice catching up with all my cousins and my aunts and uncles. I don't see a lot of them anymore. I used to when we lived in Toledo, but now that we live in Columbus, we don't see them as much anymore. So it was really fun seeing them all. Two of my cousins were graduating. I don't know if I explained that. My one cousin is going to Georgia and my other cousin is going to Colorado State. They had like a joint grab party. It was super fun catching up with everyone. We're gonna see everybody on the cruise ship uh, later this summer because we're doing a big extended family cruise, which will be interesting. But it was really fun. They had an ice cream machine. They got Chipotle catered, so it was really good food. And then we stole some cookies, which my kids loved when I brought back the cookies. So that was super fun. Everybody loved Avery, loved carrying her. So many people held her. So many people were saying how cute she was. I put her in the cutest little dress. We were kind of matching. I was wearing like a black dress with white flowers and then her dress was like navy blue with white flowers. So it was like close enough. She did really well. We rode in my dad's plane. She slept the entire way both times there and back. So she loved the airplane and she did pretty good at the grab party. She was a little overwhelmed at times, but wasn't too bad. Yeah, that was it. We just went there for a couple hours and then came back to Columbus. Anthony hung out with the kids, the older boys, took them to the park and then let them watch Frozen, which they loved. They had never seen that movie before. And then yesterday we didn't really do too much. We did some housework and then we took the boys to the park. Well, and Avery too. So I got a clip of that. 
Yeah, the park was dead. Last time we went to that park, like I said in the clip, it was packed with kids. But I guess with it being Memorial Day weekend, a lot of people must be gone out of town. I don't know. Um, I think a lot of the high schools had their graduations yesterday, which why they would do it on Memorial Day weekend, I don't know. But So I think that's why a lot of people weren't there at the park. So anyway, we just did that and then bath and then bed. So now today is actual Memorial Day. It's Monday. So I'm just going to make this like a whole weekend vlog, I guess. We had plans today to go and see our friends who live like 20 minutes away. They have bought like blow up slide like water slides and stuff and want our kids to come over and play and we were gonna go over this afternoon and then my friend texted me last night and said that she had come down with a really bad cold and didn't want to give it to our kids which i'm super thankful for because now that we're out of preschool we haven't really been sick and i really don't want to be sick especially with avery being as little as she is so we decided not to go over to their house so instead of that we are gonna go over to my parents new house so my parents just recently bought a new house they're living in columbus currently they just bought another house that's still in columbus they just wanted a little bit more land in their backyard so we're gonna go and let the kids play in the backyard so my siblings are gonna come with their dogs and just kind of go hang out so i'll show you guys their house a little bit their house is completely empty they're actually gonna like totally renovate it and like make it to what they want because the house is kind of outdated now so I'll show you guys when we go over there, but yeah, kind of a change to our plans, but it's really not that big of a deal. We're just going to go see our friends next weekend instead. So not a big deal. I'd rather not get my kids sick. I'm just here changing out some clothes, waiting for Avery to wake up so I can feed her. The other day, two nights ago, she slept through the night. She slept 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., which was awesome. Last night, not so much. She slept and then woke up at 4 so it wasn't too bad, but still not through the night. But she's doing really good with sleeping, so I'm proud of her. But anyway, I need to get back to these clothes. So I'll see you guys, I guess, probably at my parents' house. What are you cooking? One minute timer. Oh, one minute timer. What are you cooking? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Mm. Grayson was showing me his creation. Ignore all the mess. The kids need to clean the basement. But right here, he made the solar system, he said. So, sun, and then the earth, and then Saturn, and all the other planets like, that he made. Like, Venus, Earth, Mars, Uranus, and Uranus, Saturn. Right. And then he has these magnetic cubes, and he made two chairs and a table, and he put his little Lego creatures people put there it. Mama, put it. And, he, and i'm making dinner for that he's making hot dogs so they can eat that for dinner very creative gray i like it i guarantee you i was not creating the solar system when i was a kid and playing with toys that's anthony right there hey guys so we made it to my parents house the boys are outside digging in the sand pit. I'm inside feeding Avery, so I thought while well, I'm just standing here feeding her, I would show you guys a little bit of the house. Now keep in mind, my parents are gonna totally gut and redo the whole house, but this is just kind of how it looks now. I won't show you like the whole thing because you probably don't really care, but I'll just show you a little bit of it. So this is the kitchen. It has lots of windows. They're like totally surrounded by woods, which is really cool. Nice fireplace, but as you can see, like, it's totally, like, outdated. Like, the fans are wood, the trim is wood, the floors are wood. <laughs> They're just gonna, like, knock down walls and all this good stuff. But this is the front of the house. Um, this is what my boys like the most. The people who previously were here um, had put in a ramp like for their wheelchair husband or daughter or something. So the boys like to ride it and it goes all the way down to the basement. This is our ranch house with a walkout basement, which is exactly what my parents were looking for. And they were looking for more yardage. They're, they have like no yard right now in their current house. And this house is on like over an acre. So it's really, really nice, but um, a little outdated. So they're gonna totally redo it. But here they have like a little patio out here and a big backyard. Let's see if we can find the boys. There 
they are, playing in the sand pit. So yeah, um, it, we came here a couple days ago to see the house when they like first got the keys. And so Anthony came then and saw it. And so I told him we were coming back over and he was like, do I have to go again? I already saw the house. I was like, no, you don't have to come. So he stayed back. He um, bought some cabinets to put in his office because he still has like all of his office supplies in boxes. And it's been almost a year since we've moved. And so he finally like, took the time and found cabinets and ordered them. So he needs to put them together. So I told him to do that while we're gone, at least do something useful. <laughs> so hopefully by the time we get back, he has those built, but he's been saying he's gonna build them for a couple days now and it still hasn't gotten done. So we'll see, but I'm just gonna feed Avery and then head back out.